welcome to Skisite 6G component test system. So this brand new system is devoted to component testing at sub, sub terahertz frequencies. So when we are looking to build an ecosystem of 6G components, we need first to test the components. So we need to test our power amplifiers, we need to test our mixers, our frequency converters, our filters, and we need to test them at CW frequencies and at wideband modulated frequencies. So this setup is dedicated to this, this work. So it's a setup that is built around the VNA, around the network analyzer, with wideband modulation capabilities. This setup is built with VDI converter heads and so we have a DUT in the middle, we can insert the DUT right now, I have no DUT but we can insert a DUT in the middle of a setup and the idea is to assess the non-linear behavior, the modulation distortion behavior of a DUT. So we start with a VNA, a network analyzer from and we have this external edge, but we have this wideband modulation capability I spoke before about. So it's based on a wideband arbitrary wave generator. Here it's our high-end 128 giga sample arbitrary wave generator that feeds a mixer. So we have exactly this, uh, can you see this one? We have exactly this uh, mixer here. So we upconvert the signal from this wideband generator that is 40 gig modulation bandwidth. We upconvert this to 250 gigahertz carrier. So we have a wideband modulated signal at 250 gigahertz carrier and then we just feed this signal into millimeter heads and we can have a DUT inserted in the middle. And uh, this, so this is the block scheme of the, of the system and we recognize a kind of S-parameter test system with a special input to be able to feed with wideband modulation. So this system allows us to uh, play, to, to generate telecom, sig uh, telecom signals. Like right now, I'm running a 64 QAM signal. So, but in, in a repetitive way. All the idea here is to repeat the signal and to be able to average, to, to clean up the noise and to reach really the DUT, the noise, the, comp the behavior of the DUT. So we. We have a repetitive test signal out of the arbitrary wave generator that we feed the DUT with and then we can take little pieces of measurement, stitch them together to rebuild a 30 gigahertz bandwidth, a 30 gigahertz modulation bandwidth. So right now I'm running a carrier at 250 gig and 30 gigahertz modulation bandwidth. Of, and we can see on top the amplitude of a signal and below the phase of a signal and this signal is reconstructed from many little measurements, many little stitches put together in phase because we know the repetition rate. So we end up having the full time domain wave for knowledge of a test signal. So we can, and we can measure the input or the output of the DUT because we have receivers around the DUT at the input and the output. And we can also obviously apply the legacy S parameter calibrations because we can perform S parameter before. So we end up with input and output wideband knowledge of, of spectrum at input and output of a DUT. And also we can then post-process this data so we can be back to time domain waveforms and generate IQ data and go to the VSA, pathway VSA software on top that can demodulate this signal. So you can see here the constellation of the demodulation we can achieve. So this is a 64 quam demodulation at 250 gig carrier and 37 gigahertz span here. So this is really uh, up-to-date numbers, uh, really uh, state-of-the-art numbers, but it's important to notice that it's, this setup scales down very well. I mean, what I'm showing here is pretty extreme numbers, very, very uh, impressive numbers, I think, but this works very well at 20 gig carrier, at 10 gig carrier, at 50 gig carrier with uh, uh, different modulation width. So it, it can be really used at any frequency, this approach of doing wideband uh, signal analysis in a network analyzer. And we achieved this result thanks to our uh, synthesizer, DDS synthesizers and our foundry. So we have a very, very low phase noise. This is the key to have this phase stability that allows us to demodulate. So this is our setup for, to enable early 6G development of components to build, to help our customer building their solution at 6G frequencies, at sub frequencies.